Okay, we're here for a Blu-ray unboxing update now. And um, first of all, we're going to do it like I normally do it. We're going to tell you the model number and all that. And then, I know I have the controller. I confirmed that it works with the controller. So, alright. Let's turn this off first. Disconnect any cables I don't need for this demonstration. And we'll show you. Okay, so let me flip this so I know I'm looking at it right. Here we go. Here's the um, the back. BDP S185. I think I might have one of these already. I don't know. It has composite on the back. I'm not going to zoom in this video. There's really no need. It doesn't have component. I'm surprised it has composite but no component. It has a digital audio out orange for surround sound and stuff, which we're going to test that. The HDMI out in the LAN out for the um, internet. So this is definitely a smart player, I guess, if it has internet. Okay, we're going to zoom it out. Let's see. A lot of these plays do not work with surround sound systems. So that's going to be interesting to see if it works on my top TV to the right that's an OLED. That is a really good, interesting thing to find out. Um, first, we've got to plug in. Now, I have a professional 8K cable that can pretty much handle anything. And I use that to connect all my devices now. So I make sure that everything will work properly, even though you don't really need that. I don't like Amazon cables, so I don't use those much anymore, unless I have to. Okay, I forgot what this was even on, what mode it was on, what it's plugged into. Um, it's plugged into a media player. So that's what we have to set it on when this, we turn this TV on. <laughs> um, okay. That's that. Our TV's on. Now we need to get the receiver remote. And we need to get the Blu-ray remote. Where did I put that? Stupid me. Over here. Okay. So, put it up a little. We're going to go to media mode on the receiver. Um, media player as you would call it. We should get a signal from that in a second. Hopefully. I know we'll get picture, but the sound might be a different story. We didn't hook up the sound yet. There we go. There's a Blu-ray player. Here's the remote control. Just move it around. Um, move it away. Why, why is it moving? Oh, I was pushing the wrong button. Pushing the menu button. See, there's nothing to really erase in the settings here because there's nothing that's stored on the player. It's a low-grade player, so there's no memory, internal memory or anything. Um, so there's really nothing to reset on this. This looks exactly like the menu to my portable DVD player. Sony was never very good with their menus. Everything was the same. Okay, um, why don't we go to the sound settings first? Because I don't want to keep doing this over and over again. We're going through HDMI. So right now we're going to try to play it. You can do Adobe Digital Out. Um, DTS digital out. Let's see if this works without using the um that cable, uh, and we'll see what goes from there. Okay, so return. We're gonna put Days of Thunder is always a good video to put in because I never get copyrighted for it. So I use Days of Thunder. Put that in. Let's see how that works. Okay. Let's see if it picks up a Adobe signal or something. I, I don't even know if it'll work on this TV. If it doesn't work in the receiver, it's definitely not going to work on the television because there's no audio going to the television. So yeah, there's no chance of hearing on, hear, hearing the damn thing on the television. All right, here we go. The picture is more than HD. Looks great on the screen. So you might not be you can't tell from here, but I can. That's the important part. Yes, this movie has a pretty slow loading screen. Okay. Waiting for it to pop up. Right now it's on ProLogic still. We can zoom in a little actually. Yeah, you can you can see the receiver a little more over there. Let me zoom out so you can see the whole TV screen. I'll zoom in as far as I can so you can see both. Um, Alright. Right now I don't hear a damn thing. Well, that's not good. Settings. Um, audio. Well, yeah, we know the receiver can do Dolby True HD. So... Um, you can't hear a damn thing on the um, receiver. I'm going to try to go to one of my favorite scenes at the end when they're racing at the racetrack. Let's see if we hear anything. Nothing. 
Okay, so we hear nothing. So what does that mean? Well, we're going to stop the movie now. We're going to go to the settings. And let's see if we, we could have missed something in the audio settings for all we know. So let's go back to audio settings. Audio, HDMI, auto. No, um, Dolby Digital, yada, yada, yada. Um, it looks like audio, sound effect, no. Audio, HDMI. Set audio type for the audio signal from HDMI. So it looks like auto. Yeah, we're not going to get anything out of that. I'm not going to even play around with that again because I know that was a pain in the ass before. Actually, no, we can try that. It's not too bad to try it. Let's, let's try it once, just for the sake of argument. We'll take it out of the receiver. We'll plug it into the TV and see what happens. Maybe we can get some sound out of the TV. And usually the older players are not very compatible. Stupid thing. Okay. Okay. So that's plugged into that. Whoa, almost fell on my ass. Okay. Um, yes, we want to go to that, switch to that screen. Um, let's see. Stupid thing. I hate when that thing comes on the bottom. Checking the device connected to HDMI 3. What's there to check? Okay, there we go. Let's see if we get if we get any sound directly from here. I'll turn the volume up on the TV speakers, which sound like shit. But if we don't get anything out of here, that means we're forced to use the digital coaxial audio for any kind of sound that comes out of these things. But that's what happens when you have a really old movie player. You're forced to do that because it's not compatible. We have to do this fast because I don't want to put this into two videos. I'll have to edit it at all. Oh, can't even leave off where it was before when you click stop. Wonderful, isn't it? Well, we'll know right away if there's any sound coming out of the damn thing because the Paramount usually makes a noise when the logo comes up. Um, okay. No sound. So that's a, a huge compatibility problem, but no big deal, right? So we're going to hook up everything back the way it was. Um, it's just to know that I don't go through the problem anymore like I used to. I used to struggle to try to figure things out. I don't do that anymore. What I do is, is I just hook it up through the digital coaxial and that's that. Got to make sure I get the right thing here. back into the receiver. So we'll go back to that screen now. I turned the other one on by accident. Stupid me. So that's my good player. Okay, so now we're back here. Now I'm going to connect the digital audio coaxial into the back of this player. And um, I wish I should have did it on this side because I could have just disconnected it. But we got this whole big thing over here. Damn it. Let's see. If I disconnect it from one of these plays over here and connect it, I should be able to get a signal. Um, which one was it? Um, let's see. What a pain in the ass. Really? Okay. Here we go. I've got it now. Things. I have so many, much room, it's just, you know, I tangle up all the wires. <laughs> Alright, let's see if the player will stretch over here. Oh, damn it. What pain in the ass. This video is going to go over the amount of time. I have so much room, though. I don't understand why it would do this to me, but alright. Here we go. I got it. Plug it in. Um, let's see what it does now. Yeah, well, we wasted too much time. I hope I can get this to work. Okay, we'll get to one of the last scenes. Let's see what it sounds like now. 
I don't hear a thing again. Wonderful. Let's try one of the, um... Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to use that special thing. Oh, Christ. Stupid thing. Um, let me think now. We have to go to... Um... Auxiliary 1. Oh, damn it. All these setups, this is gonna be have to have two parts to it. For the settings. What is the media player on for settings anyways? It should be... See, okay, we're getting the sound, but... Okay, set up. Set up. It's supposed to bring me to that menu. Oh, what a... Why is it bringing me to the setup menu? Oh, we'll have to pause for part two, I guess. Bye-bye.